How's it going, everybody? My name is Oswaldi, and welcome back to another episode of What Remains of Edith Finch. It's been quite the journey so far. We managed to see a whole bunch of stories. I think we're getting near the end of the game now. Only a few people are left on the family tree here. We need to go see what happened to Dawn, what happened to Eddie, and then I believe that should be it. If you didn't see last episode, be sure to click in this corner. Should be that one. Here we are. Lewis and I spent a lot of time playing games together, but he was surprisingly bad at them. He died a lot. Hey man, video games are hard. On the way back from Lewis's funeral, my mom told me to start packing. She waited until the day before we left to tell Edie. I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. I wish we'd stayed. But I understand why we left. Am I going up these stairs or not? What happened that night had been coming for a long time. Maybe it should have come sooner. But it had to end one way or another. All that's left now is to tell you about that last night. Oh, okay. Here we go. Like I said, I, I thought it was getting to, like, end of the story. That whole last day, Edie just watched us pack and didn't say a word. Until supper, when she raised her glass and said, To our final night together. And all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Edith, specific. I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go open it? The grown-ups have to argue now. I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last... I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. I guess I'm gonna just follow the, the candles. Shut off that morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. When my mom said the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance, or that Edie had a key to it. That thing you're afraid of isn't going to end when you leave the house. Edith has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your stories. I think it's best to me. if Edith and I leave tonight. We'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning. Okay? History of the Finches by Edie Finch. Dear Edith, there's so many stories I wish I could tell you. But there's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. That night, the tide went way, way out. It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. There'd been an oh. earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. So we're just gonna go walk to it? You no. Know, I've seen that house every day of my life. But I never thought I'd go back to it. When the fog rolled in, I lost my way. Oh, snap. I got turned around. I started seeing things. What? Things 
I'd is. forgotten had ever existed. What do you mean? But when I saw them, they felt like old friends. That night, a lot of things came back to me. Or maybe I came back to them. Things I can't explain, but that I need you to try and- Edith, As what are you doing in here? It's mine. Edith. Mom, you're gonna rip it, let go. What's going on? I kicked and screamed, but mom dragged me to the car. I never saw great grandma Edie again. The next morning, the band came to pick her up, but she was already gone. Hmm. After that, we moved around a lot. Trying to outrun the curse. We both tried to make the best of it. Oh. Okay. A few years went by. My mom didn't like to talk about it. But she started getting sick a lot. <coughs> the rest happened pretty quickly. <coughs> she got better for a while. And then she didn't. Dawn Finch was our mother. And then uh, I was alone. Okay. And now we're back at the house, I guess. The last Finch left alive. Boom. Until I found out about you. I beg your pardon. I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. If we lived forever, oh, she's pregnant. Maybe she's we telling have her time to understand things. Oh, she's telling her child. The but story as it is, now. I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes and appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. This journal was supposed to be for you. But now I hope you'll never see it. I just want to meet you and tell you all these stories myself. Oh my god, we're being birthed right now. I just realized I that's what's I'm happening. This now. Things didn't work out that way. This is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask. But I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. Gotcha, gotcha. That was a good little ending for this story. It was a cool game. I liked the storytelling and whatnot. It was, it was good stories and I liked it. Uh, I didn't like, however, the mechanics of always having to move the mouse to open and close things. I didn't like that. But hey, that's just a small thing, so who cares? I feel like they did a good job of tying everything up in the end, so I'm glad they did that. But I guess then she died at, at birth then? She did she die giving birth to him or whatever? Cool game. Am I done? The replay of story options is now available. Select either to play from the beginning. 
Oh, so I can pick any story I want to revisit it. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Or if I pick Edith, then it'll just restart the game. That's amazing. I like that. I like that it gives you that option because there are some pretty interesting stories. Calvin's was cool. You know, I like Barbara's because you got really interactive with that one. Uh, Gregory's was pretty cool too. Sad, but yeah. Lewis's was interesting because he just went like just in his own world and just ended up putting his head in the chopping machine. Well, anyways, that's going to be all for this series. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully they make a sequel or at least the developers make another game. I don't know if they already have. Maybe they did. This game's pretty old, so I don't know. I like this, though, so good job. Shout out to the people, I guess, and whatnot. If you enjoyed these videos, be sure to subscribe because we do this kind of, kind of content all the time. And if you don't like gaming videos, then we got other stuff sometimes.